on his way out. Political consultant uh, James Carville is here as well, and Ludacris will perform. Ludacris is here. Got some great shows coming up tomorrow night on the show. Michelle Pfeiffer will be here. Dr. Phil will help Kev deal with commitment issues. We'll bring him out. To oh, help thank Kev. you. Thank you, and, Dr. Uh, Phil. Chuck Berry and Little Richard as well. And Friday, Deborah Messing and Oakland Raiders wide receiver Jerry Rice will be here as well. Okay. You all know my first guest, Oscar-winning actor and comedian who's about to hit the road for a national comedy tour. He's doing stand-up again. He's finally got that stupid acting thing out of the way. <laughs> that wasn't working out. Now get back to his roots. This is what he does best. He's one of my favorites. He kicks off in Lake Tahoe. We'll be appearing at Harrah's on February 16th and 17th. The one, the only, Robin Williams! <laughs> Gentlemen. I swear, normally you get a suit like this, there's a monkey and an organ. <laughs> Either that, it's from the lovely Papillon collection. The beautiful, beautiful It's kind of like suit. this. It's, I don't know, gay prison wear. A gay prison wear. <laughs> it's, what are you doing? Ah, you crazy. I love what you're doing. Keep it. Go, go. You go wear this on the Tonight Show. It look good on you. <laughs> this is very nice. You have all this culture. Everything very beautiful now. Thank you, thank you. Well, I, you know, I am so... See, I've been telling you for years. You know, I... I go back. Go back. I love your act. You're always a great comedy. You're a terrific act. You know all that. Well, but, it's good. Yeah, but this is your I... first comedy tour in how many years? How many years? Now? It's been 15 years. It's 15 years. <laughs> your mother and I, we weren't online in those days. Really? In those days, we'd look for white powder in envelopes. Right. I remember. That was a long time ago, Jay. Oh, yes. Still got that Reagan hunk. You gonna yeah. pull that out? Yeah. Well... <laughs> Bring back that topical humor. Now, why? Why did you decide to well, do it again? I mean, I'm reason, glad you are. Well, the Bicentennial Man on Ice thing fell through. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Bicentennial Man. Yeah. Bring back that big creature on ice. Have fun now. Gettysburg on ice. I just wanted to go back. I thought, you know, now's time. Go back and yeah. see if you're still... Like you, well, how many dates do you do a year? I do about... I'm about 120. 120? I'm, I, I, I do There's about, only 256 in I, a year. I, I do about three a week. Three a week? But I like... But that's, I always do that. I know. It's just part of the job. Part of the job. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? Do you have stage fright at all? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm sponsored by Depends. Really? Oh, well, that's... Well, that was... Like... So, no, no, no! Please. Yeah, I'm nervous. It's, I was up, uh, I started off performing again in this, there's a small club up in San Francisco called Bimbos. Bimbos? Yeah. Hey, the waitresses, who knew? <laughs> it's actually this really nice, it seats about 500 seats, and uh, seats about a little redundant. Right. But I had a good time just going, starting off doing like an hour and a half, then right. two, and then, right. you know, just playing off that. Because I can remember your first... I was with you. you that's right. Remember? You, and and you, were, uh, you were the Russian man. Yeah, I used to have Nikki Lennon. You yeah, know? yeah. You were, uh, people really thought you were from yeah, Russia. Yeah, they'd go back, we feel so bad for you. I went, oh, thank you. And they went, oh, you lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do suppressions and Russian ventriloquism. Was, you want to say hello to the people? <laughs> <laughs> I remember all those. And you were great because that night the microphone went out and the, the sound guy was going, oh, my God. And I, I don't use a mic, so I ran out in the audience and started playing <laughs> with people. Remember, I remember that. And just messing around. It was good fun. And then you got me the gig with Mitzi, who you oh, know a comic it, that I might like. I said, there's this new guy from, from San Francisco. Robin, Robin, really? Does he have a tape? No. <laughs> no, he doesn't have a tape. And then I started performing and, you know, working in L.A. and doing clubs, which I still, there's something great about being in front of yeah. people again. That's why I had to do it. Do you remember the nightmare gigs? Do you remember some of the... I remember, I remember <laughs> I was sitting, waiting to go on stage in England. And there was a comic on stage, and there was a blind guy in the back who went, Get off! He waited one second and went, Is he gone? <laughs> <laughs> there was like this kind of bizarre... You know, there's nightmare gigs, you know, yeah. where you have the worst ones, and I know you had the same ones, where you're opening up for a music act. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was one of those, it was some disco act, and uh, <laughs> there was actually, there was a woman in the front row doing cocaine, just like this, like... And then she didn't even bother to say it, she just went. Yeah. 
And I knew I shouldn't have invited my own family. And right, I'm, that's the trouble. They're the worst. Okay. Mom, come on! I'm trying here, Mom. I work with me. But, but you were always you were always good with the hecklers, as I. Oh, mean. hecklers! Because yeah, that you, was you know that was sort of you just you, kind of attack. Yeah, it just brings out the best part of you. You know, when you just. You just go for them and you just kind of look at people and go, oh, come over here. I'm going to look at you, you little Siamese twins separated at the head. <laughs> and your brother got the better deal. Come over here now. <laughs> little damaged boy, talk to me. <laughs> well, you always have that other bad thing where you think you see someone and you, you think they're not having a good time. And you say, hey, what's wrong, buddy? And later on, they come up afterwards and go, I really enjoyed your show. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Take a break, more with Robin right after this. You know, I have that happen. Oh. It's a party during the commercial. Everything at Jay's dance house. <laughs> Forget MTV. Come on down, Jay's in the house. <laughs> you gotta gonna have some fun now. <laughs> you ready to party? <laughs> we got a party man backstage. We got James Carvel. <laughs> oh, the man who makes those ice cream cakes. <laughs> Wrong man. <laughs> We're gonna party. You know what I'm saying about friends. Send your dollars to Jay Leno right That's now. Right. <laughs> right now, somebody's going, honey, fix the TV. <laughs> that damn Williams boy is strobing. <laughs> now, I want to ask you about you and, and, and your stand-up. Now, I assume you'll be covering current events because i know you do that well do oh, you, you mean the pretzel like the pretzel do you have something on the i just imagine that here are these two dogs he falls on the floor and they're both going hey what's different <laughs> they give him a new medic alert that says i've fallen and i can't get legislation through <laughs> he's standing he's basically on the floor and the two dogs are going should we get somebody <laughs> oh hey let's just watch the nature channel <laughs> come on now boys what are they doing what is it what is it spot what george is down what is it, boy? What is it? Is it a terrorist? A pretzel? Dear God, dog, can't you help us? What are you trying to say? Woof, 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 woof. What? What is it, dog? It's so sad what it says now. Now, I want to ask you about something. Now, this, uh... Does it, doesn't it say on the back of pretzels, yep. do not operate heavy machinery or have access to nuclear weapons? Right, yeah, it, 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 Please be careful. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to talk about. I mean, basically, you talked about airport security now, with right. Disney running airport security. Got, got Disney running. It's very hard to do a cavity search with three fingers. Right, that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, wait a minute there. I think I found something. <laughs> Woo, boys and girls. Now, the... The, this Taliban kid, this John Walker, he's from your neck of the woods. He's Marin County. Isn't he a neighbor? Isn't he like two doors down? Or yes, that, 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 that boy who we used the to boy. hear praying every day. Yeah. He's from Marin County. Yeah. He is. He's right the best there. line about that, Don Novello, who's a comic, said they knew he was from Marin because he asked for ski week off. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, my favorite thing is when they were, remember they were dropping the food packages, right. which, were, which were yellow, and also the small bombs were also yellow, which made it kind of like, find the bomb, find the food, find the bomb. <laughs> But in the food packages, which were basically peanut butter, Pop-Tarts, and all you needed was a country ham, and you got yourself a white trash Christmas. There you go, right there. <laughs> I, <was> like, oh. <laughs> I imagine Martha Stewart's going, here's how you make a lovely mock mecca with your Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Mold your peanut butter into the mosque. But your wife is always, she's been dealing with the whole, you know, women's issues. In, That's right, yeah, yeah. In Muslim saying. countries, I say, First of all, they, when, yeah. when, they, when they started the war off, they were sending SEALs and basically special forces. I said, you don't need SEALs. Mm -mm. You don't need special forces. You need Sister Shanaqua. <laughs> you send a girl down there going, girl, you don't have to dress like a beekeeper. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That man goes to hit you, you say, mm-mm. Don't make me go cobra on you. 
Mm -mm. Talk to the hand call waiting. <laughs> Get out now. Mm -mm. <laughs> Get out now. Now, how do you feel about so that, like, I know they're doing this racial profiling at the airport. Now they're There's picking... A this, I actually heard this yeah. happen. In Atlanta, a friend was about to get on the plane. This very sweet stewardess came on, I guess, or a, a, a person in the lounge there said, Ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're just going to do uh, what we call random bag checks. We're uh, just going to read off a few names. These are totally random. <laughs> random bag checks. I'm going to read these names off. Akam ben Fla. Havan ben Fach. Samala <laughs> Khadimem Judy Smith It was like 14 Arabs and a blonde <laughs> And every African American, every Hispanic is going All right! We're off the list! All right, let's see! Brother better learn to drive, man You better get a Land Rover with lowrider wheels man. You'll be stopped all the time well, how about this whole Enron scandal? This thing is like a night. Isn't it a nightmare? It's a frightening thing. Like a pessimist says the glass is half empty. Yeah. An optimist says the glass is half full. An Enron executive says the glass is empty, but you have to play for a full glass. <laughs> it's, it's insane. He was basically, it's like the Titanic's going down and the captain's going, we have room in first class. Come on up here. He's already in the lifeboats going, I wish you all luck. Going down, boys, <laughs> and they're all just like looking away, going. Now, are you going to are you going to go to the Olympics? Are you are you a, a Winter Olympic fan? I, I'm a big fan of the events yeah. like the luge. Which luge, you like luge? Luge is nice. Anybody puts a skate in their ass and goes down the bobsled run. Yeah, right. That's <laughs> anybody who goes down like this. <laughs> what drunken gynecologist came up with that sport? <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna slide you down the hill, ma'am. It's amazing. Do you remember the poor Canadian snowboarder, the guy? They busted him. Oh, yeah, we did. He got, guy. Sure, he sure, got, another kid. He got popped because they said marijuana was a performance-enhancing drug. <laughs> yeah, right. And anybody who's ever been stoned is going, really? <laughs> ah, unless there's a large Hershey bar at the end of the run, I don't think so. <laughs> they, asked him for, they asked him for his medal back, and he couldn't find it. <laughs> so they said, oh, get out of here. Go on, get out. <laughs> but the Winter Olympics is for me is amazing. I love yeah. the figure skating is the that's the most incredible thing. You'll see someone do, you know, 25 double axles in the air and right. then they'll come down and go eat and some judge will go, "Ah, oh, it's gone." <laughs> Two points off. Get out, you crazy person. <laughs> East German judge is always going, "I hate all of you." 5.2. <laughs> and it's there's always great stuff to see there. Now you saw our thing on Mike Tyson. You, you I am sure you know I've been following Do I know Mike? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm just like well, this. You guys I hang, hang out with Mike. Yeah, you hang, don't you? Sure. sure. You know, whenever I'm in town, I call Robin. Let's go out for something to eat. Maybe you. <laughs> you know, Mike. You know, it's nice. Mike has got a straight jacket in this yeah, outfit. Like yeah. a, it's incredible when, you know, you know, Mike just got out of prison. You're lucky he doesn't try and bend you over the ropes and drive it home. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of that press conference, he's going, I'm going to you till you love me. <laughs> wow. Good night to all our affiliates. Good night. Thank you. And that's our live feed for tonight. Thank you. I'm sure a lot of guys are going, yeah, I want to get in the ring with him now. <laughs> you know, it's like, let's get ready to nibble. <laughs> Mike's been away for a while. Mike's been away. I don't care what amount of Zoloft he's on. It's a dangerous thing. <laughs> you see the guy going for your ankle, go, get away from me, Sparky. What are you... <laughs> hey, do you know... Do you Even know... the guy from the animal planets look at him going, oh, crikey. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I wouldn't go near him. I'd rather go down on a cobra. Oh, no, what a frightening thing. Down on a cobra. No. Sorry. All of a sudden, the sensor's going, good night, everybody. <laughs> oh, they did that about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> no, Don't worry about know. that. Robin, oh, it's a pleasure. He'll be at uh, Harris on February 16th and 17th in Lake Tahoe. We'll be right back with James Carver right after this. Good job, buddy. Thanks.